Stand by, it's time. What the world want me to let my go? Stand by. What is up, 4D fam? This is Dark the Wilson family back with another reaction, guys. On the eleventh performance, we're almost to the end for Pentatonic Sing Off competition. And guys, like I've been saying, they, I mean, unanimously, they have been winning. They they have won. They have my vote. Like the whole the whole show. I know somebody sent me. Shout out to the person. I have to go find the comment, but. Somebody sent me like a list of all the other contestants that was on the show and I definitely got to check them out as well because I, I, I love some good singing. I love good singing and this, this show was just, it was good singing I'm sure. You know, just seeing that pentatonics like just killed all their performances, meaning that the other guy, uh, the other people that was in the top three or top five they did just as well so we're gonna check that out but before we do guys make sure if you're new to the channel subscribe go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you already been here or even if you're new go ahead and send down some recommendations of who else that you want me to react to perfect yeah gotcha yeah all right yeah, yeah. just making sure just making sure but guys, we finna get into it. Pentatonics 11th performance. I don't know why my video, my video looked dark. Look, when I lean back. No, no, it's not doing it. I don't know, y'all see, y'all see. Hopefully it don't get too dark. I don't know why it's doing that. But let's get into it. The big drop. Pentatonics put on another stellar performance with Usher's OMG. Yeah, I wanna get it on. And then brought the house to its feet with their passionate rendition of Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On. I can't express enough how incredible that was. I mean, it's a scary feeling. I'm always nervous and anxious, but then after hearing things like that, and it's just like thrilling. This week, we're doing two songs. We're doing a master mix of Since You've Been Gone and Forget You. With our master mix, we're having trouble jumping from song to song. Oh, I know that'll be hard, but I mean, I didn't, I already, I've seen the Pentatonic song already that they matched up two songs and they killed it. I ain't gonna lie. Probably one of my favorite songs. Definitely a top three. Y'all know, y'all may know what I'm talking about. It's a top three song for me. I think Matt, Matt's in the group now. It's one, it's one with him, so. I think that knowing that this is the most important performance of the season is kind of freaking us out, and I think it's hurting our arrangement. I'm just so afraid people are gonna be like, they ruined Forget You, or they totally ruined Since You've Been Gone yeah. because we're changing it up so much. We're just not sure if people will say, you know, this is the group that needs to win. I don't know if we can do this, seriously. I know all of our voices are tired, and we're all mentally exhausted as well, so, I mean, all of us are struggling. This is the last opportunity to show America, we want this, we want to be here. Yeah, you did an extra line. We really want to win so we can keep doing this and go on tour and record and live our dream together. We don't want this to be the end. Hoping to leave the judges with another unforgettable performance with the master mix medley of CeeLo Green's Forget You and Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson, here's Pentatonics. It's transitioning pretty good. It's like it's like it, I don't know. It's like some rap beef, you know. When a person goes, the next person goes. The, that's pretty cool. Transitions are good. I can't breathe for the first time I'm so 
that sound, I ain't gonna lie, this, this mashup is good. Dang, it sounds good together, like it's all one song. She's a bad Oh no! <laughs> hey, we got Kevin and Avi doing a little battle over here. I mess with it. I mess with it. Dang, it's like it's it's like it's Scott versus Kirsty, then it's Avi versus Kevin. But there, it just it's, this is just good. No. <laughs> That is tough. That is tough to do. Like while somebody's singing one song, somebody else singing another song. That you know how much focus you gotta have to be able to do that. That is tough. That is tough. I'm trying to figure out which song I want to sing. Like I can't sing both of them at the same. It's hard. Wow. Let's go ahead and go right to our experts. Ben, what do you think? Nice work. I mean, going from the Kelly Lowe Green to the CeeLo Clarkson was really seamless. <laughs> you knew you had a non sequitur after non sequitur to, to deal with, and you just made that entertaining. Avi and Kevin, you guys are getting to be an amazing rhythm section. You guys. Meat and potatoes. They the meat and potatoes. Been saying that. Been saying that. Watching the battle between Avi on bass and Kevin on the beatbox was bitching. I mean, it's like you guys gave voices to the instruments. You're getting like a really tight touring band that's been out doing this for years, and you always come up with some kind of trick that you don't expect, because I keep thinking they're going to run out of stuff. And you didn't, and you did something really cool. It was great. I heard you guys had a tune for the first time of the series yet. It wasn't serious, but I think it was in the, um, uh, the second chorus of God. Which song? I don't know. It was going back and forth so well. And you just brought the whole thing together and made it entertaining. So, yay pentatonics. Nice work. Sarah? That was a great performance. First of all, our lead singers here, Kirsty and Scott. <clears throat> what I loved in this performance is that you guys were telling a story with your motion and your choices on stage as well. And you ditched Scott for Avi in the end, and, and then it, it worked out, so. <laughs> but it was really entertaining. You guys were telling a story, and that was a lot of fun to watch. I was smiling and grooving like a loser. So I think you've done your job. Thank you. <laughs> Sean? I'm so used to you guys like actually doing like these like real ill breakdowns and all this other stuff and, and transforming all that stuff, but you know, you didn't do that and I still enjoyed it. You seamlessly put together those two songs where it was almost like, okay, they're singing a Kelly, nope, this see okay, now they're singing that one, now they're singing that one. It was just so fluid how you guys did it, you know, just creating something different that even the artists themselves might not have thought of. Uh, Avi and Kevin, you guys are no longer named Avi and Kevin, okay? <laughs> I officially name you Meat and Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> because... 
you made the whole music mega mix thing work because you stayed constant. You're so intelligent when it comes time to arrange certain things because you know how far to push the envelope and that's why you guys are so enjoyable to listen to. So good job, man. All right, thank you, Sean. And Pentatonix will be back again later for the judges' choice round. Thanks, guys. Don't forget, all the songs you hear tonight are available for download on iTunes. After the break, Denver studio musicians Urban Method fire it up on a mix of songs made famous by Nelly and Madonna. And at the end of the night, the voting lines open to America. The sing-off is kicking into high gear. Hey, that was... Hey, that... That might have to be a top top three performance. I'm not even gonna lie, like that one was, that one was good. That one was good. That that is so hard. That is tough. Tough to mix up two songs like that. But it seemed like I ain't gonna lie, it seemed like it was all one song. It seemed like like since you've been gone, forget you, all those lyrics belong to like just one song. Man, they they just gifted and talented. They they man. And we got the meat and potatoes. Y'all know who they are. Meat and potatoes. They're not Kevin and Avi no more. The meat and potatoes. They built, man. The beatbox. I didn't know how serious, like, the bass and beatbox was when it came to acapella. But now I see. Now I see. It's, man, most important thing. It really will make and break the song. But, man, that's all I have for this performance. Make sure y'all continue to send down your recommendations. We got one more performance left. One more. Then we're going to see. We're going to the judges. We're going to the final results to see who wins the sing-off. I know who wins, but we're still going to it to see who wins. But y'all, y'all be great and be blessed. Be the best. Be you. I'm out. <laughs>